everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes. Welcome to my studio and thank you for coming by back for those of you who are already subscribed and if you're new here I would love for you to subscribe by clicking on that button below clicking on the and makes in the bottom of your screen or don't forget to click on the bell when it pops up so you will be notified whenever I post a video and on this channel I post DIYs how to's uh, craft product reviews and a whole bunch of really fun how to do it yourself type of videos especially in crafts and art and I also do lots of haul videos because I really love shopping for DIYs and crafts so uh, today that's what I have to share with you I went to Bethel New York last week I went to check out where Woodstock was held and I went to attend the in the making creative festival and I'm going to insert a little clip of that right here for you be another video just for the uh, in the making festival which is a lot of fun I live outside of Ottawa here in Canada so it took about six hours for me to drive there and on the way down I did stop and do some shopping and of course on the way back I did some more shopping so so if you'd like to see what I picked up at Michael's Joanne and Dollar Tree in the US stay tuned here we go so on my way down, uh, we stopped at a mall, and there was a Michaels in that mall. We stopped there for lunch, first of all, and uh, we needed a cable for the iPhone in the car. And um, I went to Michaels, and I saw this. It's called a cart topper. It is by Recollections. It is sold as a top that you put on top of the storage carts that they have at Michaels. And I have several of those carts and I just thought, wow, what a what a nifty idea to have a top for it, for the top part of it. And this is all that it is. It's basically just uh, like nicely finished MDF. I think it, it, I got this in white, but I think I also saw one that imitates wood, but I could be mistaken. I just know I want, this is what I wanted. And this will go on top of uh, one of the many craft carts that I have. So I will have like an additional surface for working on it. And I will probably do that with the craft cart that's near my sewing area. So on the top here, I'm thinking I could actually uh, go take my serger from the basement, bring it upstairs here into my studio and put it on here so I could have my serger beside my sewing machine. I'm pretty excited about that. $19.99 US, if I'm not mistaken. And of course, I did have a coupon, so I used uh, my coupon for that. Now, I don't remember all the prices of the items because I had to keep this receipt separate for custom uh, customs, and now I can't find all the receipts. So, um... Another item I picked up, I looked at what they had in the clearance, which is what I do whenever I go to a craft store. I always check out the clearance sections. And I found this set of uh, stamp and stencil by Recollections, which is great. Sorry about the glare there. The lighting today is so bad. It's very cloudy and mucky, and I have to have all the lights on, but it's creating these shadows and reflections. So uh, this is by Recollections. It's basically some little polymer stamps. You have the uppercase and lowercase of the alphabet, and you have all these like little flags that you can stamp on your planner page, and a lovely stencil. So it's itty-bitty, but it's perfect for writing 
in your planner. And I was pretty lucky to find this because it was on clearance for $2.99 instead of the regular, I think it was $5. So uh, for me, that, that sounded pretty good. So I got that. Another item I found that was a clearance item is this Cricut. I know, I work with Cricut. <laughs> I still buy stuff. Uh, a Cricut iron-on design. I did not have this, this, and I just thought it was really pretty. And I think this was under $2, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm going to try to do a project with this and my new um, Easy Press that I have, the new baby Easy Press that I got from Cricut. So I can't wait to show you guys that. I'll be using I'll be using my Easy Press with this iron on on a probably a t-shirt or a bag. Hmm, can't decide. And what else did I get? Also, the Halloween stuff was all uh, basically 50% off, and I couldn't resist this tape, some decorative washi tape. Of course, I couldn't resist it because it has kitty cats on it, black kitty cats. So this is what I got, and I think this was $2.50 for both rolls. And the prices I'm quoting to you are in U.S. dollars because I was in the U.S. I saw this. It's just a uh, drinking container. It's uh, a plastic. And, of course, I got it because it has... It's a black kitty, and I know this is was is Halloween stuff, but I'm probably gonna use this all year long, just because I love my black kitty so much. And lo and behold, this was also half price, and I think that means I paid like two dollars or a dollar fifty for this. So this was uh, originally three nine nine, so it was on sale for a uh, dollar forty nine, I believe. So I got that. I also picked, oh, I couldn't resist. I saw these erasers. They weren't on sale, but they're little macaron, macaron erasers or macaroons. Aren't they the cutest? And having just come back from Paris and loving to eat these macarons, uh, I couldn't resist this stack of erasers for $2. I found this little doodad in a clearance item, and I thought of my friends who are fairy garden lovers and I just thought that would be perfect for a fairy garden or any type of miniature I would be working on and I picked this up for a dollar I believe the price is faded a dollar seventy seven yeah oh I got this for a dollar seventy seven so it's basically like a little patio table with the parasol there <laughs> so that'll look cute and I also got at this Michaels a pad of Halloween paper that is lenticular paper lenticular paper it's hard to lenticular paper it's kind of the paper that kind of shifts the image kind of moves with you you see the cat's paw there moving up and down yeah I just thought this is really neat I never had any of that so I just thought it would be fun to pick up, and since it was 50% off, 50% of $5.99, so that's like $3. Uh, I couldn't resist, of course, you know, there's Black Cat. There's other prints in here as well. There's also some skeletons and ghosts. But uh, yeah, I wanted it particularly because of Kitty here. So, and oh, I picked up a bottle. This was not on sale or anything, but I did use a, I think I had a 50% off coupon for this, uh, a bottle of De La Rami, uh acrylic ink in this nice neon uh, pink color, a color I didn't have and I thought would be a lot of fun to play with. So I got that and I got this. I can't remember. I think it was full price, but I got it for half price because I had a coupon. So I only paid a few dollars for this. So I'll just add that to my ink collection. So on another day, I, because uh, this, after paying for, for my stuff from uh, Michael's, I got a survey coupon and another coupon. I was able to go back another day and use those coupons. So 
I went to another Michaels and I got myself the Dr. P.H. Martin's uh, iridescent inks. And so I got this whole beautiful, beautiful set of inks that is normally $99. So I got it for uh, basically $50 um, because I had a, had a wonderful coupon. And yeah. So, and the funny thing is, Dr. P.H. Martin, the same inks are a lot more um, it, in the Michaels in Canada. So, to me, uh, I was already saving some money if I was buying it full price, but I'm not going to pay full price or anything. So, uh, yeah, I used my coupon, and uh, I was pretty stoked about finding this set. And I picked up, I had another little coupon, and but I saw this and I was going to buy it anyway, but I had another coupon, so I used it on this. And it's just a little uh, change purse, and it's a kitty. And it's this, what do you call this material? Gosh, I've got tongue tied. Like rubbery material. So the ears are how you open up the little coin purse. And I just put coins. I just thought it was so cute because it's a black kitty. So this, I think, was originally $5, and I believe I got it for like $2 or something like that. So uh, I got that. So that was the Michaels Hall in uh, New York. So I was in upstate New York when I got this stuff. I also stopped at uh, a couple Joann's fabric stores because I had coupons. So, and I went to one store, got a survey coupon, survey coupon there, did the survey, got another coupon. So, yeah, that's why I went back to another store. I mean, the girl's got a coupon. The girl's not crazy. <laughs> so, I got this book. The books were 30% off, and this is a classic sketchbook. Uh, cats, the secrets of observational drawing, uh, and it's all about drawing kitty cats. So, uh, yeah, so since I'm a big fan of kitty cats and I love to draw, I just thought this would be a really good tool for me. So, I got that, and this was like I think it came down to like $12 or so for this nice book. But uh, I, I love books, so for me, that's a good deal. Another item I picked up at uh, Joann's was this Fisker's Teresa Collins stapler. It is the uh, heavy-duty craft stapler. It is supposed to go through chipboard, foam, felt, cardstock, and cork. And this was in the clearance, so the clearance price for this was uh, $11.97, so $12. And so I got this because that to me was a good deal. And I also got the staples for it, but they're somewhere in the bag. So I got this. And I did get this bag when I was at Joanne's to put my shopping in, just because it was really a cute bag. I, I love the theme on it, and it's got this ruler type of handle. It's got everything DIY, homemade, how-to on there. So, yeah, that's right up my alley. Another item I picked up while I was at Joanne's is this magazine. I couldn't wait to show this to you because I, I have friends I know would, would really love this. Um, this is the magazine Simply Cards and Paper Crafts. I think it's from the UK. And I would say, well, that's not a big deal. But uh, I picked it up because it comes with this set you get an embossing folder some dies you get the truck here with the tree and all these lovely stamps to make a whole bunch of crafts uh, and here they show a card here with a red pickup truck and i have uh, i know a lot some people who just love the theme of the red pickup truck for the holidays so i just thought this would be uh something this was something i had to share with all my my viewers and my friends if you haven't seen this I'm sure we can uh, this magazine is available in Canada as well I'm sure I've seen this at um, chapters and some sometimes Walmart carries these magazines and good magazine stores will carry this one it's called simply cards and paper crafts it is issue 18 I believe I can't see a thing so 
issue 181 so uh, and it comes with the embossing folder dies and clear stamps and inside the magazine there's a whole bunch of wonderful papers to do a multitude of projects for Christmas whether it, you know if you want to make especially for card making it's really it's a good deal really good deal and I could tell you what a good deal it is if I could see the price and this retails for UK 7.99 euros US 17.99 and Canada 22.50 uh, so yeah, I'm sure if you ask for this at your favorite magazine store, you might be able to get it. Simply cards and paper crafts. I mean, this come this whole kit comes with it too. So that is some of the stuff I picked up. I also went to AC Moore, and so the stuff I had. I got it from AC Moore and Joanne. Now that it's kind of mixed up, so I don't really remember which is which. I do know that at AC Moore, I got these bottles of hand soap just because they come in a black kitty bottle. If you can see that, it's a black kitty. It's just hand soap, but it's a black kitty. And look, they had pumpkins. And I think they also had uh, some ghosts, but of course I saw the cat and I couldn't resist. So I got a couple of those, and these were like a dollar ninety-nine. Uh, an item I picked up in the clearance is this Fiskars um, Large Easy Squeeze Punch for mason jar, just to punch out mason jars. And I thought, how cute is that? And this was seven forty-seven. Uh, yes, this was at AC Moore as well. It is a little, what do they call that? Monogram canvas wristlet. It's just like a little pouch, and it has this. And they had them in different colors, and these were like two dollars. They had some in blue and black, and I got this one that's kind of a deep purple. So. Like that and in the clearance I lucked out they had the artsy lux paints and these were all being cleared out for a dollar ninety instead regular they were eight dollars a piece so I got one of each color that they had they had this in this color which is silver they call it silver gold silver gold this one is turquoise, turquoise, looks more blue on my screen here. Uh, then there's this lovely purple, or magenta I should say. And there was also a silver and a platinum. So these are basically a really thick pasty type of paint. It's more they call it Lux paint. This one's a Lux paint and this one's like a texture cream. So you can spread this on with a palette knife and uh, it's it can be very thick or you can thin it out and it's just really like luscious. It's like icing but you don't eat it. You use it in your paper crafting. So I thought I'd have fun with those. Oh here are the staples I had bought uh, to go with my stapler. And these little, these were only 50 cents. These were in the clearance for 50 cents. Uh, die cuts with a view, little tags, little pad of tags. And see, this is what they look like. So you get a whole bunch of them in here. So, yeah, and there's different little tags. Oh, great little tags to use in all sorts of paper crafting. So, nice little find for 50 cents. And I picked up these rolls of ribbon. These were... I think they were $1.99 each roll. And look at this. It's a little truck, a little pickup truck. It's a green one. No red trucks, just green trucks. But I got it anyway because I just thought it was really cute for fall. So I got this. And I also got this. This was in the clearance as well. It was the only one. It's a bottle of glitter ink by Art C. And it's like a black ink with glitter in it. Very, very luscious. 
I, I really like these products by Artsy. They just make some really like luscious, rich products. They're fun to play with. And in the sticker section, it was buy one, get the second one half off, I think. So these are not cheap. And the funny thing is I know Paper House very well. And I got these 3D Paper House scenes. Uh, and they're scenes of Paris. And this one, 3D stickers, all about Paris. And since I recently went there, I just thought these would be great for me to have to make uh, my scrapbook. So, uh, yeah, I got these. And I also picked up this hat. They had a little 2019 calendar at the front of the store. All the calendars were half off. And I picked up this one because it's all like Parisian style pictures in it. And I thought maybe I could use it in my scrapbook about my trip to Paris. They have some, uh, these were in a a sale bin where they had a whole bunch of stuff for very, very inexpensive. I think this is one or two dollars. And this is, of course, because it has the kitty cats. I had to get it. So it's a whole bunch of little stickers. And it has, I chose it mostly because of the kitty cats. But of course, there are owls and spiders and bats for Halloween. But look, it looks like my kitty. Got another clearance item, another art product. Uh, this is just a little kit. They call it a, what do they call this? A tag pack? Yeah. So you get 16 pieces of different types of ephemera. Uh, great for paper crafting, mixed media, scrapbooking. So you just get a whole bunch of interesting pieces in there. And I think this was like two or three dollars. Got these acorn bells that were half price. Uh, so instead of $5.99, they were basically $2.98. And they're bells, but they're in the shape of acorns. So, can you see that? Oh, it's really hard to see. <laughs> Your bells and acorns. They're cute. And they're brown. They're really cute. And one last item I have to show you. This was not on sale, but this is not something I've seen uh, at home. So, these are, they were a dollar. They're just uh, acrylic fake light bulbs that you can open up. And you can put stuff in them and just make it into any kind of DIY craft or, you know, decorating project that you want. So that was Joanne's and AC Moore, I believe. Oh, no, wait. Let me show you. Because I had these coupons and I had this great coupon because I, I filled out a survey and I got another coupon. It was not for ending these coupons. I bought this baby. It's two things. I got this bag that says one cat short of crazy. <laughs> I thought it was a really cute bag. And I think those were two dollars. But this is what I bought myself. I got this super duper cutter trimmer by Fiskars and it's for cutting thick materials. And it's pretty heavy this thing. So apparently this will cut through chipboard and cork and canvas and it's like it's really a heavy duty trimmer. Uh, this is, you know, that's, I can't cut those materials with my regular paper trimmers. This is right, quite, quite the cutter. And uh, this was a whopping 120 US dollars, but because I had 65% off coupon, 65% off people. Do the math. Uh, yeah, uh, this this came home with me. Even with the exchange rate and everything, uh, yeah, this was still worth it. So those are my finds from Joann's, A. Seymour, and Michael's. I'm going to have another video to show you what I got at Dollar Tree. So please stay tuned for that. And that will be coming up because I'm going to film that very soon. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you like this video. Please uh, give it a thumbs up. Please like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, stay crafty. Bye!